Good evening, everyone, and, and thank you for logging on to participate tonight in the National Trust of South Australia's election forum. My name's Paul Ledbetter, and I'm the president of the National Trust. The National Trust believes this is a very important forum at a time when there are increasing concerns in South Australia and Adelaide regarding continual attacks on both this state's built and natural heritage. We've had over 240 people register for the, uh, the forum tonight, which is a, a, a very positive um, result and also I think shows just the extent of the interest that there is in this particular issue. The members of parliament who've kindly agreed to participate in tonight's forum are Dr Susan Close, the Deputy Opposition Leader and Shadow Minister for the Environment and Water. She's also the member for Port Adelaide. We have the Honourable Robert Sims, who's a, mem a member of the Legislative Council representing the Greens Party. We have the Honourable Sam Dulak, the Independent State MP for Waite, and the Honourable Frank Pangello, who's a member of the Legislative Council representing the SA Best Party. And I thank all of these speakers uh, for their willingness to participate in tonight's forum. Unfortunately, the Environment Minister, the Honourable David Spears, is unable to be with us this evening owing to another appointment. And the Honourable Dan Cregan also sent an apology. And at very short notice, one of our proposed panellists, the Honourable Francis Bedford, the Independent State MP for Florey, has advised that she is unable to attend. We're also very fortunate tonight to have, or this evening, to have as our forum facilitator, Ms Christine Trenorden, the former presiding member of the Environment Resources and Development Court and a retired judge of the District Court of South Australia. Originally from South Australia, Christine undertook her legal studies in Western Australia and then practised in South Australia as a solicitor and barrister in the areas of land use planning law, environmental heritage and local government law. Her career accomplishments are many and varied. Some highlights include work for AusAid in Indonesia, for the Asian Development Bank in Laos, and with the International Union for the Conservation of Nature in Fiji and the Pacific Island Nations. She's currently a board member of the State Environment Protection Authority and chairs the Climate Emergency Advisory Committee of the Alexandrina Council. Before handing over to Christine, uh, can I just note a few matters of a, a housekeeping nature. The event is being recorded and we may distribute footage from this event down the track. Participation is through the Zoom chat function. Feel free to use that function or the Zoom chat function to post comments and the Zoom question and answer function to, to post questions. Due to the high number of questions that have already been submitted, and there were a significant number of questions submitted by people when they registered for this event, it's unlikely we'll have time for many additional questions beyond those that have already been chosen. However, we may send a selection of comments and questions from tonight to the members of parliament who are attending as a follow-up action. I'll now hand control of the microphone to Christine, who will explain how the forum will run and pre then present each panellist with various heritage-related questions. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Paul, and good evening. Evening, Paul, and evening to members of the panel joining us tonight and also particularly to the 240-odd forum participants online. I hope you get some benefit from this evening and enjoy it. Just to let everyone know the format for this evening, we have, as you heard, four panellists. We have a number of questions, mostly from participants. I will be asking each of those questions of each panellist. So every pa panellist will get the opportunity to respond to each question. Moving right along, the first question is, what do you see as the most important values of heritage? And perhaps just limit it to two each. This question was based on a question from Peter Chataway, participant. I'll ask the Honourable Susan Close first, what do you see as the most important two values of heritage? Thank you very much for the invitation. I'd like to acknowledge that the land we're all meeting on is probably Ghana land, certainly is where I am, and I imagine most people who are logging in are from Ghana land, but acknowledge the cultural authority of elders from whatever Aboriginal land we are all meeting. The heritage 
how, why do I have to only choose two is one of my questions because um, part of the richness of heritage is understanding the, nat the natural and cultural identity of South Australians. It is about built form. It is about uh, the natural environment and it is about the way in which humans interact with each other. And it's that third one that I think is more complex. How do we uh, talk about the spaces where people can gather and get together and the cultural history that that represents? And how do we talk about the Aboriginal history, the Aboriginal heritage that sits partly in the natural environment and partly very much in a human-formed landscape? So I want to claim four rather than two the natural environment, the biodiversity that we all are dependent on and we've inherited, the European built form, the shared open spaces, which we struggle to identify as heritage, and then, of course, the crucial Aboriginal heritage. Uh, and I can say that in government, although we've got a few announcements that I'll try to slip into answers, uh, we will be making sure that what happened in Junkin George uh, couldn't happen in South Australia, that we will be changing our Aboriginal heritage protections. Thank you, Susan. Now, can I ask Robert Sims the same question? What do you see as the most important values of heritage? Thanks very much and good evening, everybody, and thank you for the opportunity to come along tonight and talk to you. Like Susan, I'm going to struggle to name just two because these uh, things are all interconnected. And for us as Greens, we see heritage as being really, really vitally important. I guess one of the, the key things about heritage is it's about culture. And as Susan has said, in Adelaide, we have a rich Aboriginal culture. We've also got a cultural history that comes from our city layout, our plan and, and so on as well. And so it's about protecting and celebrating that diversity of experience. And also for me, heritage is about stories and connecting people together. Heritage brings people together. Now, I know myself, uh, the experiences I've had over the years coming in and out of the city as a child and now being able to do that with my family and so on. It's those stories that we pass on and, and heritage is so critically important as part of that. Thank you. Now, the Honourable Frank Pangallo, please. Your values, please. Thank you very much, Chair. Well, look, um, my view is that culture and, and heritage uh, aren't luxuries, they're a necessity. And if we're to preserve them, uh, we must continue to create them. Our heritage and culture is what makes us the society we are. And I think we, uh, we certainly need to strive, certainly as, as uh, legislators, to preserve the culture that we have not only today, but from our past, including our colonial past and also our Indigenous past. We also need to strive to protect the built form of our culture, uh, as well as uh, the environmental heritage, uh, which, of course, uh, the most outstanding one uh, are the, um, uh, the Adelaide Park lands. And we must fight to ensure that governments, either of today or the future, do not further encroach on those park lands and take away one of the gifts uh, that we have here in South Australia. So they're pretty important to me. And Unfortunately, what we're starting to see, and it's probably as a result of the planning code changes that have come in, uh, is this incursion into uh, historic contributory items in the suburbs. Thanks very much for that. Now, is the Honourable Sam Deluc with us? Good evening, everybody, and thanks for the opportunity to share my views on, on heritage and I will try and stick to the brief and, and answer too. I think there's going to be a lot of agreement amongst the panellists tonight one issue that heritage actually does, it actually brings community together. And that's so important. It allows community to share its story. And as a quick example, obviously the National Trust, and in my community, we have the Coromandel Valley branch of the National Trust. And, that. and of course, it, it is a heritage to me. It's the, it's the sharing of our story. Uh, it's the sharing of our community. And um, it is the sharing of our culture from the, our earliest uh, Australians uh, to, to today's newest citizens who became Australians on Australia Day, for example. They're all part of our heritage and culture and how we mould together to tell our story is so important. 